Hey there, welcome to Larry's Workbench, our little corner of YouTube where we do projects that are fun and interesting, and we think they're interesting anyway, we share them with you guys. And today uh, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Floyd, the Droid project. Uh, we do have Floyd right here. Floyd, you want to say anything to the people on YouTube? Sure. Hey, YouTube. Try not to be too jealous of my wheels. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it's important. Just from the get-go here, it's important for me to point out that none of Floyd's responses are scripted in any way. I have no idea what he's going to say. I think half the time he doesn't even have any idea what he's going to say. Uh, but he does come up with uh, some interesting comments from time to time. Nice disclaimer, Larry. I promise I won't leak your Netflix password again. Okay. So what we're going to do in response to some of you guys have been asking uh, for this is I'm going to show you just a just an overview of how Floyd was constructed, a kind of breakdown of this whole process, uh, what he's about, and what makes him tick. The original genesis of this project was uh, I wanted to see if you could build a talking robot. And, of course, you can uh, because I did it. And uh, we're going to kind of go through some of the some of the processes, some of the hardware that's involved here, and give you kind of an overview of uh, really uh, what makes Floyd tick. Spoiler alert: It's not caffeine. Let's dive into the nuts and bolts of my very charming existence. All right, great job, Floyd. Yeah, I'm I'm the one a little bit more caffeinated than he is. So we're going to pick Floyd up right here. And uh, just so you can get a view of this, right on the back here, we're just going to get into it. Ah, the glamorous life of a robot, getting paraded around like a show dog. Don't drop me, Larry. I've got plans this weekend. Okay, I hear you, Floyd. Uh, right on the back here, you see that there is a Raspberry Pi 4B, and that is a single board computer, small, uh, a very small, powerful computer that uh, makes Floyd tick. There is a board on top of the Pi uh, that's called Hardware Attached on Top, which, an, which is an HAT, and that is what allows Floyd to control his, uh, his various motors and servos that require a little bit higher voltage than the, uh, than the five volts of the Raspberry Pi. Um, I wanna point out that this chassis, this arm, I didn't construct this. This was purchased uh, uh, by a company called High Wonder. I'm not advertising this product. I don't get paid for this, uh, but it was a great product. And in a, in a future subsequent video, I'll probably go into a few more details of what was involved there. Nice job, Floyd. Uh, so now what we're gonna see is on the back of the Pi, if you can see right there, here is the microphone that allows Floyd to hear what we're saying. Here is the speaker up here, plugged into these USB ports, and that's what allows Floyd to uh, talk to us. Floyd also has a camera, which is not currently uh, connected or hooked up, but uh, that is gonna allow Floyd to be able to see his uh, surroundings, and that's, uh, that's super cool as well. The Raspberry Pi connects to large language models, actually OpenAI. Uh, Floyd's been recently upgraded to GPT-4.0 for Omni. Uh, and that's what gives Floyd his conversational abilities. Uh, it just connects over Wi-Fi. And that's uh, pretty much a summary of the basic systems that Floyd's got going. Floyd, do you want to say anything? Well, Larry covered it all. But let's just say I'm the Swiss Army knife of DIY robots. And yes, waiting on my camera is like waiting for Wi-Fi to connect. Endless. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. So if you uh, want to see more videos about Floyd the Droid, uh, we are going to be shooting some more videos where we go into all the various subsystems in more detail and uh, go into uh, maybe you could even construct one of your own. Uh, this might be, uh, you know, one of the only talking robots you'll see on the Internet, but there's more and more and more coming. Uh, so uh, we do have another video right up here. Please like and subscribe uh, because your comments are uh, really helpful. Let me know what you want to see on the Floyd the Droid Project and uh, go ahead and click the next video right here.
Thanks for tuning in, folks. Don't forget to hit that like button.